Hello friends, my name is Palamore, and in today's quick video, we are going to be looking at how to burst as an arms warrior in the Shadowlands pre-patch. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the arms warrior. Uh, really quickly before I jump into anything, I just want to let you guys know, thank you again for the support. This is most likely the last video of the Burst series uh, in the pre-patch. There's a lot more to come in Shadowlands. So if this is helpful, maybe click on my channel link and uh, see what I've been up to in Shadowlands if you're watching in the future. Anyways, looking at the Arms Warrior, guys, this one is a lot more simple than the Fury Warrior. Uh, quickly, we'll go over talents. And I just want to remind you guys that this warrior is in full legion gear i literally have my raid gear on from legion i haven't got one upgrade since i leveled this guy so that the numbers are going to look very low but that's just an illusion the actual rotation is very powerful uh also obviously not going to be using essences or bfa trinkets because of that uh this is a pre-patch video and it's supposed to be focused towards what's gonna what the game's gonna be like in shadowlands anyways these are the talents that i've decided to run with um not too much to say really about them. I think it's pretty baseline for arms. I don't know if there's that much flexibility. I actually run D stance. I think that was because I was doing a transmog run or something. So don't worry about that. Uh, but this is what the spec is going to look like. And yeah, I guess we can just jump right into it. All right, guys. So in terms of arms warrior burst, it's definitely going to be a lot more simple than fury. The most important thing to know about arms is that you need to have your uh, weapon sheath key bound. Because you're a warrior in your arms. You you have a big weapon. So my keybind is you. You need to make sure that's bound. So you can flex on people. Uh, but once you have that done. We can jump into the actual rotation. So it's going to look something along the lines of. Getting your avatar up early. And getting your warbreaker up early. That way you can do a ton of damage. Uh, the thing about sweeping strikes. Is this ability is awesome. But it's not uh, off the global cooldown which means squeezing it into your rotation can kind of gimp your damage a little bit so for this video we're just going to preemptively pop it anyways i'll go ahead i will talk you through the full rotation that i've come up with right away and then we will go through it and then like always we will break it down in slow motion together so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to storm bolt charge at the same time to get a stun up on our target. Make sure we're not going to miss our warbreaker. Once we storm bolt and charge onto them, we are going to avatar warbreaker, and then we are going to immediately overpower. The reason we're going to overpower before anything else is because overpower actually buffs up the damage of your mortal strike. If you read the bottom of that tooltip, it increases the damage of your next mortal strike by twenty percent, and this stacks up to two times. Uh, somewhere in our talents or abilities, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, but we have a chance, I think it's this right here actually, we have a chance to just reset the cooldown of overpower right away, so that's how you get double stacks. But yeah, we're going to, once again, sorry, Stormbolt into a charge, you can do them at the same time. You're going to Avatar Warbreaker, you can also do those at the same time. And then we are going to overpower once into a Sharpen Mortal Strike. Now... If you want to do the most reliable damage possible, I would probably say immediately follow all of this up with a Bladestorm. Because Bladestorm as arms actually does a lot of damage. But it's also a little bit situational because sometimes it might be better, you know, to apply a hamstring to your target so your teammates don't get kited. Or to apply a rend so if it's a rogue they can't vanish, they'll have a bleed on them. Uh, these kind of situations. But... If it's just in terms of damage, I think Bladestorm might be the best bet. Some macros to point out for you guys really quick is, you know, you can macro in a uh, you can macro in a badge or on-use damage trinket into your avatar. I don't actually have one right now. Both of my trinkets are just passive wad raid trinkets. Uh, but what that would look like is we can look at my, where is it, uh, right here. It would look something like this, except recklessness would be changed to avatar, and then you'd have another line that says slash use, you know, trinket name, whatever your trinket name is. So really easy macro to make. And then another macro I want to actually show you guys is Mortal Strike. Uh, what I have macroed here is actually on the third line. It's basically just showing Mortal Strike as the icon. Uh, then it's casting it, and then the third line is just to cancel or a blade storm. So what this will do is when I'm blade storming and I hit my mortal strike, it'll cancel me out right away. This way, I don't get stuck. Uh, let's say I'm fighting a, another warrior and they blaze and they uh, heroic leap away. I'm not just chasing them, spinning around. I can hit two. 
to cancel the blade storm and instantly charge to them. Probably one of the most crucial arms warrior macros. So really, really keep that in mind. Um, anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and we'll jump into it. I'll show you the little rotation here and then we'll break it down to slow motion. All right, guys, so the actual rotation is going to look like a Stormbolt with a charge into an Avatar Warbreaker, overpower once, and then sharpen Mortal Strike. You can follow that up with a Blade Storm, but like I said, this is situational. Um, also, if you want, you can preemptively pop Sweeping Strikes. I didn't do it just in this example, but I would probably not throw that into the combo. Uh, sweeping Strikes doesn't actually stack with Blade Storm anymore like it used to way back in the day. It actually only makes your single target abilities uh, switch over. So something to note with that though is that it can actually spread other things. Um, for example, it could spread Rend and it can even spread your Sharpen. So if I were to Sweeping Strikes and then hit a Sharpen Mortal Strike, both of these targets are going to are gonna gain the Mortal Wounds debuff. Uh, as well as if I Rend... Both targets are going to take the Ren Bleed. So, you know, situationally, if you're using Sweeping Strikes and you're against two targets, it might not even be the best choice to Bladestorm. Anyways, let's look at that in slow motion, and then we will wrap it up. Okay, guys, so in slow motion, you can preemptively pop Sweeping Strikes. You're going to Storm Bolt and charge in at your target, instantly Avatar Warbreaker, hit one Overpower, and then a Sharpened Mortal Strike. You can follow this up with a couple different options, but if you want to do just damage, a Bladestorm will work fine. Okay, guys, thank you so much for following along. I know this one was a little bit more uh, kind of dragged out, but I felt like there was a lot of little tips and tricks I could kind of squeeze into here with Arms Warrior. Uh, I do have a lot of plans for uh, helpful videos in Shadowlands, so if you do find my videos helpful, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, and also, if you have any suggestions, guys, leave it in the comments below, and uh, I would definitely be interested in making videos to help you guys specifically. Um, in fact, the arms and fury warrior videos that I just made were both by request. So thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, make sure you eat a banana. So you, if you have diarrhea, you get, don't get constipated or something. Bye guys. Have a good day.